What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red off screen. I uh, went and healed everyone up, and I also stocked up on a bunch of items, as you can see. I am all fully stacked up on items, and we're ready to take on the Pokemon Tower, so let's head in here. Alright, so we came into the Pokemon Tower about, like, two episodes ago, and we fought our rival Green right here. However, this time, we're actually going to take on this full tower, because, yes, it is a tower. It's got six, or seven floors, actually. And, um, yes, there are wild Pokemon in here, so I'm going to be spraying my newly bought Super Repels. Uh, mostly you can find Ghost Pokemon, like Ghastly, in here, but you can occasionally find Cubone, which is actually a Ground-type Pokemon, so that's pretty cool. Now here's the first trainer, and her name, as you are about to see, is... Come on. Hope, and hopefully I can defeat Hope, because I can only hope that she does not hope to win against me and stuff. Okay, so Sublimino actually has Confusion, and Ghastly is a Ghost and uh, Poison-type Pokemon, so it will be super effective because of his half poison thing or thing. Um, I don't know if Psychic is super effective against Ghost. I'm pretty sure it's just normal effective, but you know, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, now, yes, this place is actually really good for training Sublimino, so hopefully he'll be gaining a couple of levels in here. And I keep making these hope jokes. I don't know, it's weird. Now they're stuck to me. Now let's take care of you. And that lady was ugly. I, she went down with one hit KO, so. Wow, if I can actually take out a bunch of these trainers in one hit, that would be awesome. And all of these Chandler people look like Rock Lee. Like, I thought that girl from Zelda looked like Rock Lee, but these people, seriously, they do look like Rock Lee. Look at their eyes and their hair. Like, what, does that not look like Rock Lee to you? I mean, if it doesn't, then you fail, but it does look like so to me. So, here's another Ghastly, level 24. Hopefully, I'll get a one-hit KO. Alright, so that one actually used a move called Curse. Curse is different on Ghost Pokemon because it removes half of their HP. But it also curses you, so that you lose HP each turn, kind of like, um, badly poisoned, or when you use Toxic. So, yeah, that's kind of a bad effect. On other Pokemon, however, it, uh, raises attack or something like that. I think it lowers speed and raises special attack. I really can't remember, I'm sorry, I just don't remember moves by heart. But, it's something along those lines. I know it lowers something and it raises something, so, yeah. Now let's fight this other Chandler, and she's got two Pokemon for once, so... Obviously, they're Gastlys. Okay, so she had two Gastlys, and these guys are actually using a move called Spite, which lowers my move's PP, which sucks, because uh, Confusion is now basically out of PP, and that's really bad for me. So, there's going to be an item right here, an Elixir, and there's going to be another Trainer right here. Yay, don't we all love Trainers and stuff? Yes, we do. And obviously, another Channeler with probably a Gastly. Yeah, well, you would never guess that in here. I mean, it's not like all of them have the same Pokemon. Or do they? And they all go down just as easily. Um, on the next floor, there's actually a place we can heal up our Pokemon, so I'm not gonna waste my time, uh, using Super Potions or anything. And, uh, yeah, so let me go and fight the next trainer. Um, actually, there's no more. Um, however, there is an item here. A Great Ball, that's great. And there's another item over here. An Awakening! Okay, I might actually be able to use that if someone likes to use Hypnosis or something like that. Um, Ghost No Qual! Yeah, you're awesome like that. And this is Chandler Paula, and she's got another Ghastly. I mean, seriously, what is up with all of these people using frickin' Ghastly? Is it not enough for one of them to have one? Can they at least have, like, Haunters or Cubones, which you can actually find in here? Uh, nothing up there, so let's head to the next floor, which actually contains a healing spot. Yes, that circle right there is a healing spot. So, let me fight you. You shall join us. No, I shall not. I shall not join the dark side. And she's obviously got a ghastly. Oh wow, Subliminal is actually dying, so I hope I can get to that circle of awesomeness without having to fight anyone. And, of course, I'm gonna have- oh, never mind. Okay, so step in here, and your Pokemon are fully healed. Now here's a cleanse tag. This item, I really don't understand the cleanse tag. I know they like that you can avoid wild Pokemon, but half the time it doesn't really work for me. I mean, I don't know if it... Zombies? Seriously? Zombies? Is that what you have to say? Wow, I, ju I just have to laugh at that. <laughs> Zombies. Okay. Let's fight you. Alright, so another Ghastly that used Curse, making my life a lot easier. And almost level 25 now, so at level 25, I'll be higher level than all these Ghastly, because most of them are level 24. 
or well, they're they're in the ranges of 22 to like 24. Highest would be probably like 26 or something. I don't know. And here's another gas, and another one that used curse. I mean, seriously, everything in here is the same story. Curse, confusion, die. Curse, confusion, die. Or just confusion, die. Uh, there's no skill involved in this. Pokemon, no skills. Yeah, level 25 now. Um, here's an item, a nugget. You can actually sell this for quite a lot of money, so... Anytime you see a nugget, I really recommend you sell it. Um, especially if you like money like I do. One more trainer on this floor, and then we move on to the sixth one. What? Does she want me to give... Oh, ow, you're sick. You sick, Tammy person. And she's actually got a Haunter! Holy crap in GG, man. I am about to GG in my pants. Until it used Curse and killed itself. Of course, this... Yeah. I actually thought that Haunter would be kind of a challenge because... Even though my Confusion is still super effective, it could have used, like, a Shadow or a Dark-type move or something, but no. Alright, sorry about the little skip there. I actually um, had to do something really quick, but... Um, now we're at the 6th floor, and there's a... There's actually a couple more items to get here, and like three more trainers or something like that. And this one actually has three Pokemon. I'm hoping she has at least a, a Haunter or something. All right, so yeah, she, she had three Gastlys, and uh, Sublimino actually died because of that cursing. So I'm going to go back and heal at that magical circle of doom. And we're back, and my repel actually did run out. I mean, it, it, it lasted all, all, it lasted us all the way to the sixth floor. So I'm pretty surprised it lasted that long. Um, heading down here for an X accuracy. I usually don't use X attacks or the X items. Um, I sometimes I use the calcium and stuff like that, but the X items I never really find a use for them, so I usually don't use them. Now here's the next trainer, Jennifer, which is a weird name for a channeler person because usually they have weird names. And it goes down with one hit from confusion. Really, this this is getting pretty boring with all the gas lease and everything. It, it's just no challenge at all, but. Yes, this is Pokemon. Pokemon is awesome like that. Um, over here, actually, no, there's no hidden items. Um, let's fight you. Oof, ha 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 ha, you're awesome. Yeah. And Amelia has another Ghastly. I swear, why can't these people have more Haunters or like, I don't know, this is, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're fit first generation remake, so... I, it was the only ghost Pokemon back then, so I guess they can't use stuff that we have now, like Mizdravis or like, I don't know. What? Subliminov is evolving? I actually was not expecting this. And there we go. Now we've got an awesome Hypno, making the name Sublimino even more accurate, because if you guys didn't guess it, yes, Sublimino is a Ben 10 character, it sounds kind of nubbish, but I actually did watch the original series, the new spin-off, uh, Alien Force or whatever, and now they're making another spin-off, actually. Oh, what is this? Yeah, um, straying away from Ben 10, because this is actually pretty important, you're gonna have a ghost here. Your Silph Scope, however, is going to detect it as a Marowak. I don't think you can catch this one. Oh, no, you can't. Alright, so this thing being level 30 actually killed Sublimino, but we finally took it down. And Sprout gaining a bit of experience there, he doesn't really need. And the ghost goes away, because it's awesome. And once again, I'm gonna go heal up. And back at Cubone's, or Marowak's, Tombstone, heading up to the final level, the seventh floor, we're gonna find Team Rocket. What do you want? Why are you here? I'm just here to kick your butt. So these guys actually, when you beat him, they actually run away, and hey, it's an old man. That old guy marched right up here to the hurried out. Then he starts ranting about how Team Rocket's abusing Pokemon, so we're just talking it over as adults. Really. Pokemon are only good for making money. That's actually true. Japanese people, nowadays they make Pokemon games just for the money. They don't really care about the kids anymore. Wow, my team is actually pretty good, I must admit. And this is Mr. Fuji. Thank you, but I came here of my own free will. Really, so how did you get- I wonder how he got past all of those Team Rocket guys. And he takes you to his house. That's not sketchy at all. Alright, that's really nice. So, go ahead and talk to him. And, yes, your Pokedex quest is really good and everything. 
Now I'm gonna let you finish, but here's the Poke Flute. Now this Poke Flute, we're actually gonna be using it next episode because we have run out of time for today. So, next time we'll be figuring out what this Poke Flute is for. See you guys next time.